be able to take a lot back on, yeah? Me, uh, me aftermarket batch has arrived. Three, three amp hour upgrade in IMH, and you can undo it and upgrade the, uh, take it apart. There's a normal uh, factory ones that brought it together. This one's actually screwed together. An IMH battery. The uh, brushes have arrived for me at a drill, which is nice. Nice, it's all arrived. I tried, um, yeah, well, that was flat when I got it. So, I suppose this memory effect is stuck. The flattening it out is just going to make it uh, do the same anyway. That battery is pretty much bugging anyway. I've got to take that one apart and get some good cells out of it. Got a couple of um, other good uh, cells out of the other battery pack I took apart. It's good to go. That's as good as near that one. Now let's uh, get some new repair. Put the new brushes in it so it's reliable in the long run. Alright. I was trying these um, brushes, but the genuine Makita ones, I couldn't get any lo locally close by. They were all located too far, the shipping would have cost too much. No, it just took too long to get here. These are Chinese. Uh, these will fit. They're the same once the part numbers are the same. Okay, viewers, are they about 90%? They're not as worn as I thought they were going to be. There's the new ones, the original ones. They're about 90% complete. Only 10% of it's worn down. But good thing I did replace them, because look at the cracks all over them. They cracked the buggery. Full of cracks, even this one. Cracked the buggery, so. That can just cause more damage and cause a jaw to fail. You can see it's gotten hot previously. Yeah, that's gotten hot, so um, I can't get these caps, see, but these ones are still all right. As you can see, the combinator is really good. I've cleaned that up, and that's in really good condition. I just gave it a light, a 1000 grit run over with some 1000, 1000 grit sandpaper, and cleaned it and deoxid and blow it, blow it dry, and that's just, yeah, that's a good commutator. That mud is really good. Anyway, let's put those new brushes in. This drill's as good as new. That's better. Hmm, smells new. Spark clock new too. That sounds better. That's like a new drill, yeah? That's got more power. I'd never know the brush could crack like brushes could crack like that. It's gotten too hot, so that spin there's all collapsed. That's yeah. That's just gonna cause performance issues, and it's started pitting. That could just damage commutator. Good thing I did replace these. I've never seen brushes crack, crack like that. It's just going to cause damage to the commutator. Anyway, they've changed out now, so this is a new jewel now. Yeah? As good as new. They go on a dark, they'll show you the, the spark. They'll probably will spark a little bit more than normal because I've got to break in yet, but they'll break in and mould into the commutator and they'll be, should be all right. All right, this is like a new jewel now. Awesome. Now I just wait for the adapters to arrive, which hopefully, I want two of them, so hopefully one of them at least is going to be here by tomorrow. The other one will be here next week. And slail, uh, snail mail. Something that pisses me off about snail mail. When you really want something, you gotta bloody wait for it. Especially when it comes from China. If the one comes tomorrow, I'm happy. I could, the other one could wait. Anyway, that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.